female plant. Certainly, uh, most people prize the, uh, the female plant, and it can grow to even 15, maybe even 20 feet high in one season. It's an enormous potential resource for biomass and for many other products. It's a sun-loving plant that secretes a resinous substance to protect it from drought and from dry weather. It's this resin which contains the active ingredient THC, which is so highly prized for medicine, for sacrament, and in many cases just for fun. The worse the global warming gets, the better the hemp plant grows. Isn't that interesting? As things get worse down on the climate, it's an actual chance and benefit for the hemp plant, for us to benefit from the hemp plant, because it will grow stronger and more potent as the climate changes get worse for us. Now that's as the hemp plant helps us change the climate for the better. How can it do that? Well, another of the benefits of growing hemp in quantity is that it oxygenates the air as it grows. Since we have less oxygen in the air due to pollution and deforestation, hemp will also help to do the job of replenishing the precious oxygen balance. Hemp also replenishes the oxygen balance inside our bodies. When we eat the fertile hemp seed and even the steam sterilized hemp seed, which we have some samples of at our table, this seed contains high quality protein, amino acids, and essential fatty acids, which help to build the human immune system. UCLA medical school researchers have recently verified that the fertile hemp seed is the highest source of essential fatty acids to build our immune system, to protect us against AIDS and cancer and every other malady that we can name. Essential fatty acids, like uh, Roberta Hamilton that did the research says, the key word is essential. Our body does not manufacture these acids. We have to ingest them from food products. Flaxseed is also a better, great source. And for you, 